Good afternoon and good morning and good evening to everyone. Uh, welcome to the Weba Live Workshop. Uh, I know many of you already enjoy the summer holiday, especially over here in Europe where I'm located. Uh, and um, I take some day off as well myself, uh, three, four days. Uh, and uh, now I'm ready to restart for the next intake. Uh, for uh, the September, October and November. So thank you very much uh, to join. I can see that many, many agents from around the world to just join us at the moment. Thank you very much uh, to everyone is always see so many familiar face here at the Weber workshop. Um, so I, before to start, I want to see if uh, my speaker from um, XCL, Xeno from College London, which has uh, the campus located inside at the University of Cusano in Rome is with us today. Let's see if Sara is available. Hello, Sara, how are you? Hi. Hi, Richard, always a pleasure to see you and all the agents. All good, thank you. How uh, about you? How is everything? Now I know the first intake starts in a couple of weeks in September. And yes. today we are here because um, logically, uh, Xenophon College London, abbreviation XCL, has more intake. Can you tell us a little bit about the intake of XCL? Absolutely. So we have the traditional September one, plus we have the 31st of October, then uh, January and March. So you can enroll your students anytime in the year, and we always are ready in a few weeks' time to actually accommodate them to come and see us. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. I always take these three, four minutes before to start. And I just say hello to the people from Kazakhstan who just joined us from India, from, from Pakistan. I can see Mr. Ghani, which I know him since I think now 50, 20 years. And to all the other people from Bangladesh, from Africa, from Europe in general, uh, from the Middle East, uh, from Saudi Arabia. So welcome everyone. It's always nice to see so many different people here at uh, the Weber workshop. So before to start with, with the workshop, uh, directly Sarah, I want to ask you one question. Maybe you can explain us a little bit about uh, Xenophon College London. Uh, Xenophon College London is based in London, logically, correct? And uh, they will, uh, they, they have now the campus in Rome at the University of Cusano. But uh, in 2023, 2024, they will open as well for international students uh, uh, in the UK if everything is going well. And then um, Xenophon College London will be able to issue the famous CAS letter in the UK. So what we do at the moment, we are selecting a, a high number of agents who start to work together with XCL for the campus in Rome. And then during the year, during the year, uh, during the year, sorry, during the months, um, if everything is going well for the campus in London, which we can use, issue the cast letter, all the agents will become automatically agent as well for the campus in the UK. So tell us a little bit uh, the history of uh, XCL, uh, Sarah, before that we start with the presentation. Thank you. Yes, so XCL was founded in 2019. We have a campus in London, and at the moment we have renovated a big campus in Kent, so countryside, not far from London. It's a 35 minutes direct train. And um, well, it's beautiful and gorgeous. It used to be Imperial College London, so a very famous university's campus. Um, and yeah. It's just beautiful. I can't wait to be there. Uh, in the meantime, to accommodate our international students, we also have the campus, as you said, Richard, in Rome, in our parent companies. Uh, campus, the University Nicola Cusano, who, which was founded in 2006, at the moment is accommodating around 43,000 students, with more than 100,000 that had already graduated in the past 10 years with us. So it's a very huge uh, university. The campus is big American style, um, loads of uh, national, European and international students already there. So XEL students will have the opportunity to use everything that is 
in that campus as well. Now, because we come from the University Nicola Cusano sort of history, then uh, we are very big also in online teaching, which I don't like to call it online anymore because online seems like something that is done and doesn't actually engage any student. We call it proximity learning because everything that we offer is live synchronous. So students have a timetable as if they were going to be in a physical um, room in a physical campus and they can follow it from everywhere in the world and that is the beauty of XEL so we, all our students will then be in the same virtual class with people that are everywhere in the world a bit like all of your agents today Richard so we, we are we are sort of recreating that kind of uh, uh, geographicality that is always good. Thank you, Sara. Thank you very much for this introduction. What is very important, logically, if some students cannot travel into Italy for, uh, uh, for the program, for the Bachelor Master program, they can study from the home country directly. So we are already working with many learning centers in Japan, for example, just to mention a few in Lagos, in Nigeria, in, in Pakistan, in Slovak Republic, uh, what else in Switzerland uh, and many more locations. So it happens logically that not all the students can afford to study abroad. So what they do, they start from home. Some start on the first year and then the second year they're coming there. Some are doing all the program directly from home. But then now let's go and see the campus. So I will share my screen and I will show you the video. So people will have an idea what we're about. As you say, 43,000 students, it's quite interesting. So let's go here. Let's open this one. It's come to look forward. The time has come for new opportunities. The time has come to look at new horizons. Dear agents from around the world, welcome to XCL. XCL is an independent enterprise stationed inside Unicusano University, based in Rome, Italy. If you are looking for a beautiful location and an international well-established university for a bachelor or a master degree taught in English to send your students, XCL is for you. XCL Unicusano University has more than 36,000 students, wonderful food, wonderful people, wonderful weather, and a wonderful international university for a bachelor and a master degree. So this is the campus. This is the campus in Rome. Logically, when we made the video, I think it was last year, with, there was about 36,000 students. And now, logically, September, the COVID uh, is going away. We hope so. We have more than 43,000 students. Uh, so this is the campus and is logically a very, very, very nice um, location to, to, to have an idea. So we will send you a copy of this link so you can share this to your network of students and they will be more than happy to have a look onto this. What I want to ask you, Sara, is the program, yeah. the program at uh, XCL, and this is a very important point, is in English. So the yes. best and the master are completely in English. All the yes. students who will start the program at the end, they will receive a degree validated University of Chichester, a top 21 UK ranking university. So this, uh, maybe can you explain us a little bit about this one? Because at Nicola Cusano, they have the same program, but in Italian. And still at Nicola Cusano, there is a... Um, and a school inside the university, which is called XCL, and they offer the program completely in English. Can you explain us a little bit about this? Yes. What is the entry requirement? Absolutely. Thank you, Richard. So uh, everything that the University Nicola Cusano offers is in Italian. So that is the main uh, huge difference. Uh, and of course, for international students, it's a lot easier to know English rather than Italian. So XCL can accommodate better the uh, international students because everything that we do is uh, delivered, taught, assessed in English. And as you said, Richard, it leads to a a uh, University of Chichester degree, which is ranked among the top 21st in UK, according to The Guardian 2022. So that is 
a huge achievement. The programs that XCL offers are uh, unique, so you won't find them in the University of Chichester's website, although you will find the name XCL because we are officially validated by the University of Chichester in this time. We have bachelors with integrated foundation year, which means that uh, when you have students that don't meet the entry criteria, we will see that in a, in a second, they might not be able to start straight away into the bachelor program, but they can get into the foundation year. And once that foundation year is passed successfully, then they don't need to reapply. They automatically get into the bachelor without having the issue of giving us an English certificate or getting us other stuff. So that is very important. We have um, several courses uh, that are available that are already started and the entry criteria for the bachelor are as follows. So we are looking at uh, the international equivalent of uh, A-levels for the UK, uh, grade BB if it's possible. So in general terms, I would say around 65%. Again, it gets different from one country to the other. So what we do is we assess everything that you send us through, through our portal, and we then be able to make a comparison and tell you exactly if they are fit to start the bachelor or if they need to go into the foundation year. In terms of English, the English requirement is an equivalent of a 6.0 IELTS. That doesn't mean we want only IELTS. We recognize TEFL, IELTS, Duolingo, which is a lot easier than, than anything else, and uh, all other stuff like Pearson or any other kind of in recognized, officially recognized English uh, certification. The process when it comes to this is very easy. And it, it means that we, you will receive a portal, a link to our portal. You will need to um, put down the name and surname of the student with their email address. And after that, you, you just need to uh, upload the stuff like a copy of the passport, copy of academic transcripts, um, recognition of English, and anything else. And then you will receive a, a, an actual um, communication, so an email that says, thank you for submitting it to us. And we guarantee that in within two working days, usually you will get a conditional offer letter in your inbox uh, that is conditional to, depending on what kind of documents is, are missing. So let's say, for example, they haven't, that still done the English certification that it will be conditional on receiving that. And of course, an interview. We offer everyone an interview slot that is to make sure it's very informal, nothing to do with academics. And it just allows you to basically uh, make sure that we know that the students, we assess if they're ready or not, if they understand the level of English. And the process will end with a confirmation of her letter. Thank you, Sam. I, 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 I want to take on because I, what I want to do, I want to share the website so that yes. people are aware about the, the website as well. And so you can continue easily. So this is the, sorry to interrupt in you. I know it's not very. No, 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 no. But this is the website, the xcl.ac.uk. And if you scroll down until the end, by the way, you will see that um, the, all of the, the degree are validated by the University of Chichester. They are an academic partner. You can Google as well, and you can write inside University of Chichester, Xenophon College London, and you will find that on the website from the University of Chichester is included directly the information about XCL. In the fact of the course, like Sarah is mentioning at the moment, um, you will find here at the bachelor program and directly if you click on course, uh, you find that the bachelor program and we have uh, three bachelor here, which is uh, the BSc Global Management and International Business, uh, the BSc Applied Computer Science and the bachelor in psychology. As she mentioned now, the, they have an integrated foundation year, and this is very, very important. On top of that, they have as well the different master who are here on the right side. You can see here all the master that are offering. So for the one who just join us at the moment, I just want to inform you that they have four intake. 
one intake is September, which is coming shortly. Then the next one is uh, on the 31st of October, then in January, and then again in March. So, Sara, sorry, sorry, you can continue. No, no, no. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Um, then in terms of masters, the only difference, so in terms of entry requirements, we will have, uh, we are looking at something like a upper class second division for uh, uh, as their bachelor degree, but we would consider something a little bit lower depending on the actual topics that have been used. And in terms of uh, English requirements, that would be a 6.5 IELTS equivalent. Again, we still recognize Duolingo, we still recognize Pearson, we still recognize uh, a, a great variety of English tests. And we, the process will be the same as Richard now is showing up. Can you see on the top uh, top right of the screen, there's an apply now button. You just click on that and you basically can uh, make the application. It's very, very easy uh, in that. It will take around 10 minutes top, no more than that, if you have all of the stuff. Thank you very much, Sara. This is very important, very easy to apply students. By the way, they have a nice portal. It's quite easy. What is a very interesting here and what I noted in work with so many agents for the XCL program is that uh, XCL is very fast. So in uh, two, three days, working days, they will send you the conditional offer letter. And this is very, very important so that your students can start the visa application process. And here I want to point out some very, very important uh, uh, point in the fact of the visa. Now, how it works everything, it's very simple, very, very simple. And um, it's important that you follow uh, my, 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 my idea how to get the, the, the visa for your student. So the first step is you need to apply the student. So the first step, you need to have an agreement with the XCL. If you wish to, to have an agreement, just put down your email on the chat system. There is a chat here on Zoom. Just write down your email and we will send you the agreement. So this is the first step. The second step is to apply the students online as is a bottom which you say apply now. Then they receive everything and they will do an interview. If the students will pass the interview, they will receive a conditional offer letter. Together with the conditional offer letter, you will receive an invoice of 100 euro in order to start the visa application process. In this case, you, your students need to sign the conditional offer letter and send this back. Your students need to pay 100 euro, send this back. When the, the XCL receive everything back, they will send a letter to the Italian embassy in your home country. So they will send a letter and they will CC to the students and BCC to you. So the Italian embassy will know, ah, okay, we have a student who is enrolled at XCL at Uni Cusano in Rome, Italy. The students know this. What the student needs to do, the students need to contact the embassy and organize a meeting and prepare themselves with all the documentation. So this is a very important step, nothing else. When the students get the visa, he will need to make the payment for the tuition fee. Very simple, nothing complicated. This is how it works. There is no prepayment, there is no additional deposit, zero. They just have to fill up, sign the conditional offer letter and pay the 100 euro as indicated. That's it, nothing else. And if you do it like this, it will work. Because we had a lot of experience in the last years with some agents <clears throat> which did not follow uh, my, my rule and uh, they mix up everything that was very late, et cetera. So I want to point out for people from uh, Pakistan, for example, um, it took us um, five minutes to contact the Italian embassy, five minutes. Some of uh, the agents told us that it's impossible to reach the Italian embassy. This is not true because we did this ourselves in our office, uh, even yesterday, just to give you an information, Sarah can confirm this yes. and, uh, as well all the time. So it's the Italian embassy, they are very, very uh, active with international students. So for Pakistan, don't worry. For Bangladesh, what is the special requirement is <clears throat> they really need to have uh, the 6.0 in IELTS, not 5.5. 
uh, they, they really want to have the 6.0. If they don't have the 6.0, then they will not get the visa. This is uh, for Bangladesh. For India, there is no problem, absolutely. For Nigeria, no problem. Uh, for, uh, for Afghanistan, they need to apply in Pakistan. For Nepal, they need to apply, usually the most of them, they apply at the, um, the embassy in Calcutta, in, in India. So, and everything is work well, uh, as well with Nepali students. Uh, with the Middle East, no issue. With um, uh, Russia, Kazakhstan, at the moment, there are absolutely zero issue, no issue with Ukraine, no issue with South America. So everything is worked very, very smoothly. And no issue as well with Turkey, absolutely. Uh, with Europe, uh, there is absolutely no issue. So we had a great experience. The visa worked very well. And uh, we have um, about um, a high number of international students, especially from the Southeast Asia. And um, the meetings, to arrange a meeting, usually take about three weeks, uh, four weeks. Uh, let's say if you enroll a student today, the 24th of uh, August, you will receive uh, the meeting at the Italian embassy around the 20th September, 25th September. Just to give you an orientation how it works in times. Um, and uh, what I want to say is, uh, again, for the Nepalese, and uh, the English level is like for everyone else, is for the bachelor 5.5 in all the four component uh, or 6.0. Only for Bangladesh, the requir requirement is 6.0. This is the Italian embassy who has this requirement. There's not much we can do. And um, for, the Nepal, for the Nigerian, because you speak English, uh, then uh, there is not uh, an issue. How is the situation with the English, Sara? They need to show five years, that they study five years in English, correct? Yes. So it really depends on where we are. So we have two situations. One where uh, the they come from a country that is, the English is the officially recognized language, for example, Nigeria. So we wouldn't expect anything. So we don't want an added test unless during the interview is clear that they cannot understand properly. So we need to make sure that that is uh, going on. Otherwise, if they've studied and there's proof that they have studied for five years in English or they did their degree, the, the bachelor degree in English, then we can consider not asking for the English certificate. But again, we use the interview to assess whether or not this is ideal because we don't want anyone to go to the visa appointment and they cannot understand what has been asked of them and the visa will be refused. So that is not something that we would want to be anyone in that position. Thank you very much, Sara. I want to inform you, everyone, that <clears throat> I'm working with Italian University since, uh, I think, 25 years now. And uh, I had a lot of uh, collaboration with the university and, and agents. And I know exactly how to do a preparation for, uh, for a visa. So you can always um, feel free to contact me if you need any help. I have uh, one agent, Upendra Singh, who asked me uh, if he can speak for, uh, for uh, some time. So he, has, he has four suggestions. So I would like uh, Mr. Upendra Singh to, to invite him to, to speak. Please, we are always open. If someone has some suggestions, some idea, we are more than welcome. Please, Upendra. Thank you. Uh, very good morning to everyone and a good afternoon, good evening to everyone, my colleagues. Those who are working, especially for Weber and uh, Sara XML University, because you have only the we are bridging the gap between students and university and you. So we are only the pillars standing by you. I raise up one question and you reply me very strictly. I am on that since I mean you know we came on your platform. How are you protecting? Uh, you named as agents. How are you protecting our agents? See, we simply in India, we experienced, we just forward because we have not received anything for promotion. And we just putting I mean, the ads, we just, I mean, the, you know, across the India. And they are directly I'm the reaching to you. How are you protecting digitally all of the agents here? Okay. So I ask you, Mr. Richard, this is a very growing concern right now. This is one point and Ms. Sarah as well, you too also. So please answer on this one. How are you protecting all of them? Because we are only the pillars for you. Okay, thank you very much, Upendra. Thank you very much. Uh, to 
of common life uh, is always good if someone has something to 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 say that he has to say so how that we protect the, the agents and this is a, a very intelligent uh, and a very interesting questions now um, let's go back to the first part um, Xenophon College London XCL is making an agreement with the agents so every agent receive an agreement he need to, 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 to read all the agreement logically and in the agreement there is a code inside and every agent need to, to put the code directly in the portal when he applied the students in this case we uh, in this case, X. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really apologizing to interrupt you. Please, just for only one sec. Please, because sir. I don't, I don't interrupt anyone. Before I'm in the, you know, the summarizing and explaining the entire, uh, uh, you know, the modules already available on the, that particular form, Mr. Mr. Richard. See, when whenever we just, I mean, you know, the give the ad, they check on the Google Excel, XML I'm in the university, and they directly I'm in the contact to the XML university. So there is no required of the agents. They simply, you have not mentioned anything, the reference number or anything. So uh, we just, I mean, the promoting XML, they directly reach to you. Okay, uh, let, let me- And you have, I, I give you the suggestion as well. You should mention, you should, I mean, you know, create a one reference ID. Without reference ID of the agent, you should not accept any reference. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Pendra. Thank you yes. very much. Thank you. Thank you very much for your suggestion. Very much appreciated. So, uh, as Mr. Pendra say, is um, um, what is XCL doing? They are doing an agreement. Logically, the aim of um, of XCL is to have a great network of professional agents. This is the base of everything. So, at the moment, um, uh, uh, Xenophon College London is working with a portal, portal which is called Cluster. Cluster is one of the most innovative uh, portal in the world. Uh, many top universities are working with Cluster. And uh, Cluster is a system that can recognize immediately the students and the agents. In all these uh, years, uh, since we have XCL working, uh, there was uh, many application from agents, all the agents who put uh, the code, uh, which was written inside on, on the agreement, uh, XCL was able to recognize it that it's coming from an agent and they pay the commission. That is absolutely not a problem. Logically, it happens sometimes that some students apply directly uh, or the agents uh, register the students directly and they did, did not put the agent's code. And this can happen. This happens and we always invite every agent to do the application together with the students. So when they do the application, they will be able to include this code. Sarah, maybe you have uh, the daily work every day with the rest of the team. And I know that, yes. you, as you mentioned before, we're talking about over 43,000 students. There is not 10 students, but 43,000 students. So I think, um, as you agree with me, it's very, very important that all the agents are um, which I suggest always to do the application together with the students so yes. that everything will go smoothly. I, I second and, your... Uh, please, Sarah. Yeah. Please, Sarah. I'm yes. really applying. Miss Sarah, I'm really applying. I'm not in hurry. I'm really applying to raise my second question. So we should name, we as a XML university and Richard, uh, I should, I should uh, suggest you Instead of naming agent, we should name educational partner. It seems like that agent is we are a FBI agent. So we should not have the name as an agent, please. Yes. As for the trade mechanism and the trade formula, so kindly just replace it. It is my humble request. Thank you very much, Mr. Pendra. Yes. Thank you very much for the second education educational partner educational partner this is good is a very good name and i love it very very much and um, let's continue with the presentation now pendra uh, we have a sarah fazin dr essa sarah fazin who was just uh, explaining a little bit uh, the working process so it will be kind now if uh, we can continue with the presentation mr upendra and we would like to thank you very much for the suggestion that you give to us uh, please sarah 
Yes, so uh, I will need to go back uh, to answer uh, his first question uh, and then I, we will move on. Okay, now the, you are absolutely correct in saying that students sometimes are a bit cheeky and they go behind the agent's back. So what we do is, because of course, we want our agents to feel part of the family because for us they are part of the family it's not like they are uh, selling a product and then that's about it thank you very much what we ask them is to send a list of all the possible contacts that they have generated and we will double check if someone has actually booked without their knowledge unfortunately because we have lots of people present in an area like like for example india is ginormous so we cannot pretend to know if uh sometimes the agents forget to put the voucher code so that is problem number one and problem number two even students will try and sneak in without saying anything but if we have a direct approach with the agents, which is what we actually try to have and communicate directly. And every two weeks you send us a list. Then what we do is simply we add the code to the name of the student. The student, the only difference for him is that what we normally do is send communication to both the students and the agent at the same time to avoid confusion. So the agent is always on the ball and knows what we are looking for in the student, can support and suggest, and make sure that when, for example, we provide a date and a time for an interview, this person actually shows up because without the interview, we cannot move forward to the application. And it's both in XEL and the agent's interest that the process closes off uh, positively. So that is what we do in order to ensure that uh, the agent is still is very much part of the conversation and is not put aside. Of course, it's not an exact science because uh, the agent sometimes may forget. Uh, we will then have to intervene and ask Richard for who do you think this could be coming from? And he will actually WhatsApp everyone in his contact list and say, is this yours? Is this yours? Is this yours? So even if it's a, a troublesome uh, system, in the end, we will then be able at least 98% of the time to find out where this student is coming from. Just to give you an, an idea of the approach that XEL is using. Although we have 43,000 students, that doesn't mean that we think the agent is not necessary or we don't want to go and deal in the little details with everyone because that's really important. If our agents don't feel like they are in control of what they do, then they will not send the students to us. They will send the students to someone else. And we don't want that. And we want the students to have a very nice experience from the very beginning up until the end. So we know that academically speaking, we are all fine and great and everything else is good. Otherwise someone <laughs> will have to answer to me, but before that, it's an important step too. So I hope that that uh, sort of provides you with a better understanding of how we intend to uh, promote the collaboration with our agents. Thank you, Sara. Now uh, come back to the discussion to yes, ask this and continue with the presentation is uh, I put my email um, down on the chat system <laughs> for any issue for agents. You can always- Mr. Richard, Mr. Richard, third question, very important, very important. Yes. I just, I just ask you the four questions only, none other else. The third question is very important for all of us. We should provide the hostel list because most of the students, they are asking the economical I and mean the residential accommodations. So it's a very growing question nowadays. It's what, a very- What list you need? We need I mean, the hostel accommodation arrangements nearby. Uh, I, I will answer, I will answer. I'll put it on the chat, uh, Richard. You can actually keep uh, doing the rest. Uh, about accommodation. Yeah, the accommodation is 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 great. So it's it, 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 we was not finished with the presentation. We was going to the presentation, okay. but you continue to stop me, so we cannot uh, continue with the presentation. You know, uh, you understand that we we try to give a presentation today. You know, I, I did hundreds of presentation. So I can tell you a story. Uh, I remember one time I was in Tokyo in Japan. And I had to about uh, 50 agents and I was trying to give a presentation in a nice five-star hotel. And it was one gentleman, he always stopping me. 
he always asked me questions which i was prepared oh, I, i will not stop you please go ahead so i invite you seriously i mean uh, to give us the opportunity to give this presentation because if we don't have the opportunity then it's difficult to 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 explain to you and to all the other i mean with all the respect uh, upendra singh so thank you very much and thank you very much svetlana for your understanding and all the other one as well so let's move on now with the presentation and um, um i want to share one more time the screen and uh, so uh, we are here on the website um, if we click on the course business and management uh, if you scroll down here, uh, you click study in Rome. And then after, when we scroll down here, you will find the information concerning the tuition fee. So as you can see, we have a different tuition fee. We have international student tuition fee, which is for the foundation 7,000 euro and for the bachelor 9,200 euro. The same is for the European students. The European students, which are indicated here, the countries, you will find all the countries here directly, which include as well Turkey for the Turkish agents who are here with us today from and Portugal uh, and Italy as well. The foundation is 4,500 and the bachelor is 6,000. So the same is for the international students, 7,000 and 9,200. This is for the bachelor program. If we go to the master program, in this case, if we go into the course, we will find, let me go into the course, to the global management and innovation, the same, you click study in Rome, you scroll down directly and you will find the fee for the European students, which is 9,800, and the fee for the international students, which is 40,640 euro. This is for the master for one year. The master is a one year master. The bachelor is a three years bachelor. So this is very, very important for you to understand. In the fair of the accommodation, what is a great part is that the University of Cusano, they have accommodation inside in the campus directly. And personally, I went back in June the last time to visit the Unicusano University, and they have uh, the accommodation directly on the fourth or fifth floor. So this is uh, fantastic. Many students stay there. <clears throat> on top of that, many students choose as well to take some accommod accommodation from um, uh, UniPlace. Uh, UniPlace is uh, an agency in Rome, which uh, Xenophon College London is working together like uh, many other university in the UK with UniPlace. So many students uh, choose UniPlace uh, so they can change. Uh, they can maybe stay there for the first three months and then after they can change. There is absolutely not a problem. When we get the application, when Xenophon College London is getting the application, after that they will receive um, the information about accommodation, uh, the different possibility. And the, uh, the accommodation fee is around, to give an idea, at uni place between 300 to 600 euro per, per um, three to 600 euro per month. And um, at uh, uni Cusano is about uh, 500 to 700 euro per month, just to give an idea. What is very important for you to know that in refer of um, uh, uni Cusano insight, um, they have a very big um, cafeteria, they have a sport activity, gym as well, it's very, very nice. They have a lot of students coming from, from, from all around Europe because Unicusano is as well an Erasmus program for all of you who know about Erasmus. So they have students uh, as well from outside Europe, from all uh, the part of, um, of um, let's say all in the southeast part of Asia, all the Middle East, all Africa. So let's say 43,000 students is a high number of international students study there starting in September, then in November is another intake. And this is why we are here now with the intake. Sarah just put uh, inside on the chat system, uh, a logo, a code, Unicusano 20. So for all the students who want to book um, with UniPlace, uh, they can book directly, they can, 
put inside uh, this code. This will help the students uh, to get, uh, uh, let's say, uh, a better deal with uh, with the uni placement. Uh, maybe Sarah, you can explain a little bit more about uh, the accommodation. But I think in the end, is this what I was? Yeah. Explaining? Exactly, you, you did a very good job on that. So uh, students can either decide, it really depends on the students needs. Some some of them might like, might prefer to be on campus. Uh, others might prefer to, you know, uh, sort of be on a on a private house with uh, some of their friends. Uh, it still is very central in Rome. So whatever they find, it's going to be a gorgeous place with uh, lots of opportunities for uh, a nice experience around. And that gives you gives them the opportunity to get some discounts using that specific code. And we can follow and track where they are and help them out uh, through uh, our international students office that is based in Rome. Thank you very much, Sarah. I want to ask you some one very important point, the, the, the degree. The degree yeah which is validated by the University of Chichester, which is a top 20 UK ranking university. Can you explain a bit more about this part? So the degree will be given by the University of Chichester, by Xenophon College London, how it will be work this part? Yes, so uh, while we, while XCL does all the delivery and the design of the courses, uh, professors are all coming from XCL from a variety of countries. Uh, we have US, UK, uh, Europe, so it's, it's a very varied uh, faculty. At the end of it all, the students will receive a degree from the University of Chichester, which is the validating partner, the academic partner of XCL. That means that when we enroll the students, they will both have a NXCL account and also a University of Chichester's account. Let's say, for example, that some of them uh, might want to come and see uh, the UK for a brief period while they are in Rome. And they might want to go to the University of Chichester to have a look around and see the structure they, or they are preparing the dissertation. They can go there because they are, they are also considered as University of Chichester students. So you have the best of both worlds, but we have everything that is needed in XCL. So uh, libraries, online libraries, classes, virtual classes, all the faculty of the team, tutors and everything. And the good thing about it is that we offer a huge amount of contact hours with our professors. So uh, usually the, the teachers, we, we operate a six weeks block teaching. This means that we have no more than two modules at the same time for a period of six weeks. So the students should be able to concentrate on just a maximum of two topics and do that well. There is no final exams, but just coursework that needs to be uploaded within our platform. And they have around six to eight hours per week per module of traditional lectures, which is, I would say, uh, around 200% more of what normal UK universities offer. And on top of it, they also have time with a tutor to prepare the assignments, whether this is an individual piece or a group work. And we offer the infrastructure for everything else. Thank you very much, Sarah. A very important point uh, is... Um about the working every student uh, has the opportunity to work in 20 hours per week when they have the student visa in Italy and uh, the post study work visa usually in Italy is about uh, nine months many students who study in in Italy they find as well a job uh, so many of them they remain if they get a job then there is absolutely not a problem if they have uh, uh, an agreement with uh, the company who will hire them. So students are able to, to work uh, in Italy during their study. So this is uh, another very important point. So some of the agents who just join us, uh, they asked me about the entry requirement. I would like to invite all the agents uh, who just join us to visit the website. Uh, the, the website, if you go on XCL, and I will put now a link of the website on the chat system, you will find all the information from A to Z in refer of the entry requirement. And I just want to share you a second here. If you click entry requirement, you will find all the information. Everything is written here 
in details uh, uh, the academic requirement and the English language. I just want to point out that they will need um, IELTS 5.5 in all the four components or 6.0, but they accept as well uh, TOEFL, they accept as well Duolingo. For the agents from Bangladesh, I just want to inform you that the Italian embassy ask for IELTS 6.0. This is the request that they have just for your information because I just see that some other agent from Bangladesh join us at the moment. So Sarah, finalizing this presentation, I think, um, which was a very, very good from your side, I would like to invite all the agents who are interested to type down the email address on the chat system if they're interested to receive the agreement. So we will follow up directly today and uh, tomorrow, and we will send you everything to you, the agreement to sign and send back in order that you will be able to start to apply the students. If you want to add some points, Sarah, you are more than welcome. Thank you, Richard. Now, I think that I will just like to summarize. So Axial, although it's relatively new, comes from a very long tradition of proper universities and having already that huge amount of students make us a little bit uh, more interesting than other uh, international universities, especially because we, we tend to give students and agents and everyone that is involved does uh, the opportunity to get a quality degree, a UK one on top of it, with a, a price that is very competitive. And nowadays we know that the economic aspect is very, very important. Uh, our promise to you is uh, that we, are, we tend to, if you are very, very good and you give us all the documentation in less than one week, you have all the confirmation for uh, of your students having a place. And we also have the 40 intakes, which makes your life a little bit better and the student's life also too, because you never know what happens in life. Uh, not necessarily you need to wait another year to get uh, to a point where you can uh, potentially enroll at university. So that are the main, the main points. I see that there's a, an actual question that came through directly to me. So can you elaborate more on medium of instruction letter accepted for Nepali students with the English language? Okay, so uh, in this sense, if you have, as we said before, there are three different possibilities for English requirements. Possibility one, you come from a, a country where English is the officially recognized language. And in that sense, we will not ask for a specific English test. But if your student come to an interview and they are not able to understand, they are not able to communicate, in order to secure the visa, we will need to ask that, okay? Second situation, your student has done the high school five years, in English, and they have a piece of paper that said the medium of instruction throughout the high school was English. Great. You don't necessarily need an English test. Again, we will have the interview and we will see if they're ready or not, because we don't want you to feel like, oh, I can enroll 20 students, for example. And then in the end, none of them get the visa because their level of English without a proper test is not accepted. So I would suggest that this is something where we work together. But if we see something that is not right, we will stop and let you know straight away. And you can work with your student to get even a Duolingo, it's fine, but it just is a piece of paper that reassures the authorities that the student has that specific requirement, so they meet the requirements for English. Then <clears throat> the third is you need to get the actual English test because you have done none of, you don't come from an English, officially English speaking uh, country and you haven't done anything. You have never studied in English. So we will need the actual uh, piece of paper, a proof of English certificate. Now, again, this is not an exact science and none other university will say, oh, we don't want it. We don't do that. We have all read that, for example, Canadian universities are now saying, oh, we are not asking anymore for an IELTS from Nigerian students because they have studied in English, right? And it is an English speaking country. Then the problem is the students will fail and 
your agent will not get the commission. The students will be kicked out of the country. We don't want that. We want everyone to be happy. And when we say someone is okay to start the program, it is actually okay for them to start and they will keep being with us and you will get to commission at any given time when we say that. So again, it depends on the student and it depends on the, the piece of paper that you actually provide us with. I'll give you again another example. Yesterday, I posted the Richard because we had an interview with a student from India that had the perfect IELTS and they couldn't speak one word, couldn't understand one word. So again, in that case, the piece of paper says everything is fine, but in reality, we cannot we cannot provide them with the opportunity to come and study. This is a very serious and professional and high quality degree. And we need to uh, make sure that the standards are really high, regardless of the price, because as you are aware, if you go and get a UK degree in UK, it will cost you around twice or three times more than what you would normally pay with XCL. That's okay that we want to make it affordable, but we don't compromise on quality. That is the best promise that we can offer you and your students. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you very much. Uh, you give a great explanation of everything. Um, and thank you as well to all the agents who just put down all the email address. So we will send you all uh, of you the agreement uh, and we are able to start. I just want to point out that we welcome as well students from um, Taiwan, from Hong Kong, from China, uh, from Indonesia. So the students come from everywhere, not only from Europe or Southeast Asia or Africa. But we have as well experience with this one. If we have some agents who are interested to have a one-to-one -one meeting from China or Taiwan or Hong Kong, they just let me know. And I will arrange a meeting with our specialists who speak Chinese as well, who is from China. And uh, Lina, she will assist you with all of the information that you need in order to apply your students if you need some help. Logically, from Australia as well, we have a student from Australia, even from New Zealand, from the Fiji island. So there are a lot of students in these 43,000 students. So um, in refer of, uh, of uh, the, 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 this um, presentation of today, everything is registered. So I will send to everyone a follow-up email, which uh, include the recorded workshop. I think uh, this is it for today. And I would like to thank everyone to join us. Again, if some of you want to have an agreement with XCL, just uh, type down your email on the chat system and we will uh, then contact you directly with the agreement. Thank you, everything. Thank you, everyone. And thank you for joining us. It was my pleasure. Thank you, Sarah, again. Have a great day and a great week. Hope to see you soon with one of the next wave of workshop. It's always great to have so many different agents from so many different parts of the world. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye, Sarah. Bye -bye. Have a great day. You too. Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Sarah.